Hello and welcome back to the Nottingham Forest career mode. Today we have an FA Cup final against Wolverhampton Wanderers. We're not going to be making any subs because this is our final match of the season. Yeah, last episode we had to beat Man City in the semifinals, but here we are. Oh yeah, and for the first time in a while I'm actually going to be um, uh, sprinting. I don't normally sprint in this career mode, just because I have this weird thing on manager career modes, like, I don't really want to get my guys tired. I'm really energy conservative, if you haven't noticed throughout the series. But here we go. Come on, let's do this thing. Can we beat Wolves? Can we qualify for the Europa League next season? It'll all come down to this. Starting 11, the one that we have used all year. Well, Cantwell wasn't always a starter. But, for the most part, here we go. Let's go. Alright, I'm actually going to do all the cutscenes because it's not like we're going to play a second game today. Uh, Wembley Stadium, Nottingham Forest Wolves. Beautiful FA Cup that I hope to be hoisting up at the end of the match. Wow, so Wolves haven't exactly had an easy road here. Lolly, three goals in the last three matches of the FA Cup. I think he had two against City. And then he probably had one in the game before Aston Villa. It all comes down to this. We've qualified for the Prem next season. We're currently a Premier League team this season too. But here we go. As we're shaking hands with the team we want to destroy. It's going to be kind of hard to tell the teams apart because of the jersey colors. So not looking forward to that. But here we go. We're underway on the road. Well, technically, both teams are on the road. This is really a neutral game. At Wembley against Wolves, FA Cup Final. We're underway. All right, Correa. Lolly is offside. Dang it. Every play matters at this stage. One thing could ruin the game for you. The intensity is always amazing in finals. I'm hoping today it will be the same. Come on. Carvalho. Oh, Rossi. Oh, Rossi stopped. Oh, we get a foul. What do we do? I think I'm going to try and pass this off to Cantwell. Oh, Cantwell's shot is blocked. I never know what to do on PK, on those things. Oh, Rossi. Carvalho gets it. Oh, tries to cross it back to Rossi, but not able to. Good interception by Carvalho. Oh, that's nasty from Douglas. Douglas Luiz could be sent off. So the only sub I will use is if, is if someone gets a yellow. I'm not making any risks. I am not playing with 10 men at any point in this match. Alrighty, Diego Rossi. Rossi. Actually, I could be playing with 10 men, but that's only if I get straight red. Oh, come on. Oh, can Rossi get to the header? Ruddy gets to it first. Alright, I'm liking the fact that we're dominating play so far. So I guess that's a good thing. I have to kind of look at the shorts on the teams because, well, the not even forests shorts are white and they're like brick red for the um, uh, Wolves team. Alright, Rossi gets it but then loses it. Alright, Mark Hall to Mir. Alright, Mark Hall. 
Markle chips it up and Giles is not able to get there. Alright, Samba to Worrell. Come on. Let's do this thing. Correa on the ball. Lolly on the wing. Lolly still. What can Lolly do with it? Okay, Lolly still has the ball. Maybe we should pass it. Alright, Douglas with space. Diego Rossi. Oh, Diego Rossi. Oh, Rossi hits the bar. Rossi hits the crossbar. Oh, my. Wolves get a free ticket. They are lucky not conceding there. Oh, no. But are Wolves going to score? Uh-oh. All right, McKenna gets it. Come on. Let's move the ball into the attack. Let's go. Yates. Oh, Rossi. Diego Rossi. Oh, oh. Oh. I don't even know what the heck was happening. Am I, th I think Yates gets the goal. Yes, Yates gets the goal. 1 0. We lead in the FA Cup final. Here we go. Can we hold the game out? Or will it end? 1 0. Or no. Will um, uh, Wolves get an equalizer? I, re I really am just looking to the halftime point here because um, uh, the match is going to be completely different in the second half. Well, it might not be completely different, just like the second half is always a recharge. It's literally a restart in soccer. Like, the managers talk to their players. The second half isn't necessarily better or worse in the game. It's worse because, well, the players are tired. But it's also better because the managers get to um, talk to their team at halftime and tell them what they're doing wrong. And give them, like, things to keep doing or new game plans. <sighs> 1-0 at the break. You know what? I kind of want Graban to get minutes. It's his last game ever. Just be a good guy. This could be a decision I regret for the rest of this career mode. But let's give Graban a go. I mean, he's never going to play again. So, why not? Yes, he's really bad, and it's an FA Cup final. But still, why not? Anything can happen. See, FA Cup final. It could be a big mistake, but it also could be the one that wins us the game. Aw, oh, dang. I tried to play that through for Graban, but it doesn't work out. Come on, let's get the ball back and score a second. Oh, yes, Ribeiro. Raban for Cantwell. Cantwell. Come on, Cantwell. All right. Going to pass it back to Yates. Douglas. Correa. Douglas. Carvalho. Oh, Carvalho loses it. Come on. All right, Lolly. Chasing down. Mir now. All right, Lolly gets it, but then Giles wins it. All right, Potence to Mir, to Giles. Okay, I didn't intend to do that. I was trying to do a slide tackle. All right, so we have two subs left. I need to keep that in mind. Oh, okay. That's, that's interesting. That was weird. I'm really enjoying this game so far. It's been pretty fun. Oh no. <gasps> Samba with a great save. Oh my. We just got lucky there. You guys don't even know how lucky we just got. Actually, no, we didn't get all that lucky. But still, it's pretty lucky. Lolly. Oh. Oh. 
Rabon is tackled. This could be a game changing moment. All right. I'm just gonna like try and control the temple. Tempo. Why did I say temple? There is no temple. Carvalho. Ah, oh, Grabon is fouled. Grabon! Oh, Grabon isn't able to get there. I want Grabon to score in his final match, but I don't know if it'll happen. Oh, Grabon! Oh, so close! Grabon almost scores. This is only our third ever time at Wembley, by the way. Our second this season on the FA Cup semifinal is here. Oh, Gravon loses the ball. We cannot afford to lose the ball anymore. Actually, no, we can, but still, I'd like to not. Oh, no. Okay, we just can't afford to lose the ball in a good attacking position for our opponents. Come on. Biggest game of the season so far. Can we do this? Or can we not? All right, that's over tra for Traore. He crosses it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ooh-hoo, we are lucky. We just got lucky. Oh, okay. Cantwell now on the ball. Cantwell. Rabon, oh. Come on. We cannot let them score. Oh no. Just get it away. Get it away and keep it away. Come on, end the game, ref. Yes! We win it! We are a make up champions! Wow! Let's go! We have won the FA Cup! Yates with the lone goal in the first half. We win 1-0 in the FA Cup. Eats the captain. We have officially done it. The FA Cup champions. Nottingham Forest. Here we go. Uh, we win it! Alrighty. Let's get on to simming. We have a lot of simming to do until next season. We're not gonna this I think that's the only game we're gonna play this episode. The rest of the episode is just gonna be simming and transfer action. Should be an interesting rest of the episode though. It actually could be, you never know. <sighs> well, let's see what happens. I mean, I'm looking to bring in the new demon. Maybe even a new right mid for Lolly. Tournament, tournament prize money? Let's go. Alright. I expect top for performances. Okay, trust me, we are thinking about replacing him, but... I mean, not any... Oh, wait. No way. We have World Cup. This, this episode, we have World Cup. Alright, if we make it to the final, I guess I'll play it. But I don't see us making it. Yep, Nottingham Forest win the FA Cup. All right. I'm 
just waiting until these games in the World Cup. Player contracts expiring. Um, there's none of those guys I care about. All right, we're officially in June. More player contracts expiring, apparently. Oh, we get the scout reports we've been looking for. Who will our demon be next season? I mean, we won't be able to, uh, like, choose. All right, this guy, I kind of want to sign. We're not going to pay this guy to release Colossian Stellars. So Florentino seems pretty good. Oh, yeah. So I, I don't really want this Campunzo Campuzano guy. Maybe Kamara. I mean, Florentino would be a big signing. I think I kind of want to go with Florentino next season. Maybe we could get, like, maybe we could sign him for $30 million. That'd be a pretty sweet deal. And he's really young, so there's that, too. Yeah, we're just going to sim this. Can we win? I think we can. Oh. I didn't see that coming. Now we're going to probably have to beat Ireland and Germany. That's not good. Alright, dude. If we lose to Ireland here, I'm pretty sure we're screwed. So from what I know, Ribeiro is going to be going up another overall for next season. That's good. I always want Ribeiro to get better. So boom, 78 overall Ribeiro now. So Ireland are the worst in the group, but it's basically we're tied. I'm really just going to sim every game this World Cup. I'm curious to see how, we, how far we go. Looks like we're going to be staying in the group stage. If Germany and Chile tied, we're done for. Like, literally, there's no possible chance if Germany and Chile died. Tied. Um, they did not tie. Oh, they haven't played yet. Okay, it looks like one team won. So, Germany won. Um, uh, now we have to play Germany. Oh, no, we're done for. I'm just realizing that. Click Sim. Yeah, we're out. There's no possible way for us to come back. 3-0! We lost. Dang. Even Klosterman scored. I'll try and not take that offensively. But whatever. McKenna development schedule. All right, so McKenna will also be better for next season. That means we have two um, uh, 78 overall center backs. I mean, 76. And they're probably going to end up getting better. Football is back, as you can see right there. Um, so, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this next season. And, by the way, um, uh, I know for a fact that... <laughs> Currently, when I'm filming this, I'm pretty sure there is a Messi v. Ronaldo Barcelona Juventus game wrapping up. I can't wait until after I'm done recording this, too. I'm going to check the score on that one. Um, but I did hear about, before I recorded this, in another Champions League game, PSG Istanbul Basketeer. Both teams left the game at halftime. And you're probably asking yourself, why? Why would they just leave? Why would they just leave the game? Why would they quit? Because I'm uh, the fourth official apparently said something racist to one of the Istanbul Baskashir managers. And the players just weren't going to have it. It's not a very big deal for Istanbul Baskashir because they were already going out. But when PSG did it, I was really shocked because that could affect their whole Champions League season. Like, this is a must-win game for PSG. So I think, I'm not sure what they're going to call the result. I think they're just going to call it a tie but yeah i mean that's that's 
a very big deal. That's not something tiny or anything. But yeah, whatever. Alright, now we're just waiting for this here. Alright, let's go and drink some water. Good water. <sighs> I'd really love it if this could go fast. All night just sitting here. A very impatient guy. Mm. I think really we're going to spend all our money here. I'm looking, I might bring in Yu Yakubo. Because why not? Yu Yakubo or um, a Minamino. One of the two. I want to bring in one because they're young and they're good right mids. And Lolly is getting old. Even though he, he's great, he's great. There's nothing wrong with Lolly. He's just, he's not quite good enough anymore. Like, his skill level is great. Just, his age ain't gonna cut it. Like, in the next few seasons, I want to start becoming one of the better teams, my friend. Like, we're starting to get into that 80 overall territory. Like, we're still just trying to get all our players, like... My thing with career mode is just, like... Each season, oh, actually, forget it. Let's do this thing. Important transfer market info. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the really long first day. Figueredo departs. I'm fine with that. Oh yeah, didn't he sign like a pre-contract with Espanol? Whatever, I'm fine with Figueredo leaving. Alright. So Figueredo departs. Yeah, he goes to Espanol in Spain. So this is our team. Wow, um, that's pretty good. Oh well, I thought McKenna would be going. Let's see, how much money do we have? Well, that's disappointing. Um, I mean, I guess we could try and do like a... Wow, really all we got money for is camera. I'm gonna go after Florentino. I'm gonna offer like... 25 million and Cafu, I guess. I'd say that's a pretty fair deal. Offer transfer fee. So 23 million and player swap. Mids. Aronson, no. Cafu. I'd say that's a pretty good swap. Okay, they want more money and a sell-on clause. Counter, remove sell-on clause. Propose new transfer fee. And then we got like 60 for his wages. Ooh, dang. Counter. Oh no, I need to go down to 27. Dude, is this really this going to be how it works? Um That's fair. Yes, okay. Can we get this to work out? Negotiate. Oh, no, it's really going to stink. Now we're going to have to sell someone if we want to make them, uh, if we want to extend contracts. So, crucial squad role, yes. Accept. So, how much do we pay this guy? I hope they put in the offer for wages. Oh, that's actually a really good offer. Now we have some money. 
I'm gonna try and save as much money as possible. So yeah, the idea is with that signing, um, uh, you know what, before I start talking about that, so Lolly, Carvalho, DaCosta, so these guys, Delegate Renewal, okay, that's fair. So, do we keep Lolly around? I mean, I think we should re-sign him. So, I'm, so we're currently paying him 40000 So, yeah, 42000 now. So, now we gotta be sparing with this money. I think I'm going to do Carvalho next. Um, uh, Delegate Renewal. How much is he currently getting paid? 23. Alright. Three more years on his contract. Alright, so three guys. I think... I kind of want to bring a new backup striker in. Arder, useless... Al Belushi, I don't really care about. <sighs> um, you know what is something we could do? You know what? Why don't we just go to free agents, try and get like a decent striker? Striker. Agents. Like, I want to get someone young but good. I mean, this guy looks like he could be decent. Probably gonna stink, but whatever. We're kind of willing to take anything at this point. I don't, I don't really want Gomez to be on the, the backup. Sporadic. That's actually kind of good. Um, one problem. We can only pay him so much. Hey, we have just enough money. So how good is this guy? 59 overall. I'm kind of regretting my decision, but whatever. I guess Gomez is going to be the striker. Unless, 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 I want to get some money. Okay, wind is 23. Doesn't seem too great. Do we try and, like, um, uh, I think I might have a genius idea. Do we trade the cost of her wind? Because that should free up some money. Offer transfer fee. Wait, no. Player swap. Strikers. Nuno de Costa. Submit offer. Okay. That's way too much money. And negotiation. Yeah. They want 20 million for him. Nope, not gonna happen. Do we just have the cost of there? I mean, there's no one really better. I'm trying to think of guys I know. Like, there's no one really half decent I know. So, we're gonna keep that little thing there. I'm trying to think right here. Who is there out there on the markets? Oh, 
wait. Akinola. Io Akinola. Toronto FC player. Um, uh, not worth too much. I don't think he's all too great, but he's he's better than Gomez. I know that much. Approach to buy. I mean, it'd actually probably be a decent idea if we loaned him in. Player swap. Strikers. Nuno da Costa. And then we have plenty of money to pay him. Ooh, no. Counter. Since we're probably going to end up selling him. You know what? Back. And negotiation. I have a feeling maybe I should try and loan him in. A loan probably wouldn't, would have been the smarter idea. <laughs> That's actually not a bad idea. Do we try and get like a loan on a guy? Um, I'm trying to think of guys around that overall. Who is there? Um, Luton? Nah, he's pretty old. This is actually harder than you'd think. Uh, I'm gonna try Agudelo. Juan Agudelo. No, forget him. Forget him. You know what, we'll just use Gomez. So no, we'll just play DaCosta there. Let's just give DaCosta a go there. Um, yeah, what what harm can DaCosta do? What's wrong with DaCosta? Oh, so Yates development schedule. Um Alright, that's nice. What is there here? So yeah, we've burnt through all our money pretty much. Alright, Ryan Yates. Looks like he's going to be going up. That's nice. Really nice. So yeah. Now there's only two 75s. McKenna and Yates. No more 74s. Wait, no, Yates. Yates doesn't even need to be a guy. Okay, we're not selling Yano. Yano is a good backup. But sadly, Yates will not be a player this season. Gomez, trust me, he's Gomez is not going to be there. But we're going to put Florentino. We signed Florentino, so yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this partnership. Florentino and Douglas should be good. Really the same squad from last year, now McKenna is the worst player. Next year we're going to need to upgrade one of our center backs. We, we just can't keep playing with... These guys like are literally the worst two players in the squad right now. In the starting eleven. Alright, Yanu offer withdrawn. I am perfectly fine with that. Aronson transfer offer. Ooh. I don't think we're going to take it. We just don't need the money. Aronson's a really good backup for that position. Like, he's a normal substitute. We sub him in, like, every game for Carvalho. And he's been really good off the bench. So, I don't see any reason to, um, uh, I just don't see any reason to let him go. So I'm actually slightly curious. Oh wait, we're in the FA Community Shield. I just realized that. 
I'm not really going to care much about the community shield. Wait, no. I want to check out who won the um, uh, World Cup. Because that's kind of a big deal. Big competition. World Cup. FIFA World Cup. England won it? Are you kidding me? Alright, so third place was France. Second place was Germany. So, semis, England beat Brazil 4-3 on penalties after a 0-0 tie. Germany beat France 1-0. So, Germany beat Uruguay 3-1. France beat Belgium 3-1. England beat Chile 4-0. And then Brazil beat Portugal 5-4 in PKs. Alright, so Germany beat Colombia 2-1. Uruguay beat Switzerland. Belgium beat Finland. France beat Italy. Chile beat Spain. England beat Argentina. Portugal beat Poland, and Brazil beat Slovenia. Alright. Well, it's about time we end the episode. It's going to sim until this upcoming game in the Community Shield. Aronson transfer offer. That's literally the exact same offer. Why are you even offering me this? That's the same exact offer for Brendan Aronson. Of course we're going to reject it, because if we rejected the first, it's only fair we reject the second. You know what, we're even going to sim this community shield game. I don't really care about it. Like, yeah, it's silverware, but I've been playing pretty well lately. Yates, I am so sorry, but you're not going to be a player. I mean, what can the team do? Let's see. I don't think they're going to win, but how will they do? Okay, 3-1. They concede to two Saligals. Carvalho got one sixty-eighth. I think, like, we were trying to launch a comeback after Carvalho got the goal, but then I guess Salad just went. Nope. I don't really like Salads. Like, why? What is wrong with Salad? Oh, great. Now Yates is going to say, I probably could have contributed. Or Carter. Um, it's going to be hard to keep Yates happy because, well, we're not going to be playing. All right, so next next episode, who, other than Liverpool, who are we going to be playing next episode? So, next episode, I think we're going to be playing Liverpool and Arsenal. Two great games. How will we fend? I think we're going to be like a mid-table team this year. I, I'm fine with being a mid-table team. I have nothing against it. Like, this actually is a pretty decent Premier League squad, when you think about it. I'm really looking forward to the season also, because the D-Mates are going to be really good. Two Brazilians. Um, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that part. Then, yeah, that's really it. Whatever. See you next time. Goodbye.